These gap effects are fascinating. This is a way of getting more repetitions in, even though you're doing less. Why has that not been incorporated into our educational system? Uh, I mean, that's crazy. The other thing that really favors neuroplasticity are what are called gap effects. And these date back um, more than a couple decades and have been demonstrated in a huge variety of contexts of learning. Anytime you're learning something, it pays to have random intervals in which you stop and do nothing. So let's let's use um, learning uh, a sequence of the keys on the piano, just for sake of example. You're practicing a scale, or you're practicing a piece of music. Every once in a while, if you have a, a timer that goes off randomly, or the instructor or teacher tells you stop, and you do and you attempt to do nothing, you could close your eyes or keep them open, but you stop the motor pattern, or you stop trying to do the math problem, or you stop trying to do the physical sequence that you were doing. Turns out that when we sleep, there's a rapid replay of these sequences that of events during the day, but at much higher speed. So for, per unit time, you're getting about 10 to 60 times the replay or repetition of what you're doing during the day. During these brief gaps, these 10 second gaps that are introduced while awake during your learning, you get a 10 to 20 times repeat of whatever sequence you were trying to learn. So this is a way of getting more repetitions in even though you're doing less. These gap effects are fascinating. They're being demonstrated now for more and more types of learning. And fortunately, the more recent papers really point to the neural mechanisms. It's the hippocampus and the neocortex areas involved in storage and retrieval of memories that are rapidly replaying these sequences. It's like you, we talked about how one state defines the next. So when you're repeating something over and over and over and you stop, the nervous system doesn't just switch to what you're doing, it keeps generating that mm -hmm. sequence. And when you suddenly limit your motor behavior, your cognitive behavior, so you're maybe you're reciting lines to remember and all of a sudden you just stop and you attempt to stop doing that, your mind keeps going and it accelerates the number of repetitions and then you return to the practice. Why has that not been incorporated into our educational system? Uh, I mean, that's crazy. 